One of the most powerful concepts that I've ever come across is the concept of loving what is by Byron Katie. In this video, I want to explore a mental model for you to be able to look at the world a bit differently and make sure that you always feel good in the situation you're in. Let's dive into it. So one of the things that I've been playing with while well, recently listening to the audiobook Loving What Is is the fact that literally everything is the way it is. And the more that we try to think of it differently or want something to be a different way than it is, that is what causes discomfort and pain and these negative emotional spirals that we get put on. Maybe that's depression, maybe that's bipolar, maybe that is just us being sad that something isn't happening to us today that we wish was happening. The reality is we need to come back into who we are. What are we? What is going on around us? And what we do is we start by realizing that what is, is. There's not a difference between what is and what is happening. What is happening is what is. And I know this might be a little bit of an esoteric concept, but start to understand that if you only have half of one leg and you're mad because it should be a full leg, it shouldn't be a full leg. It should be half of one leg because that is what is. If someone dies early in your opinion, they didn't, they lived a full life no matter when they died. The problem is that you believe that early is a certain age and that they didn't get to live a full life because in your perception of what you think should be didn't happen. And so therefore their life was not a full life. It was an early life that they died. And this concept, while so simple, has radically changed the way that I think about just about everything that I'm doing day to day. Because when you have something that you want to happen, I want this person to tell me that they love me. You need to reframe that question and go, well, is it 100% true? And you can never say that anything is 100% true, which then puts you down the path of, okay, if that's the reality of this situation, then what is it that I actually want? And oftentimes you'll realize as you start to put yourself in that place, I want this person to tell me that they love me. Instead, you want you to tell you that you love you. And we realize that a lot of what we actually want and crave is inside of us. It's been inside of us the whole time. We want it from us and that there is nothing wrong. There is only our perception of what is going on that is not calibrated to what is actually happening. So when you start to calibrate and you realize that everything is happening is and it's all good and it's all beautiful, you become in an, you start to live in a situation that you would always want to live in because that is what is. So thank you for listening to this video. I hope this cleared up a bit of the, uh, the chaos in the mind that we can all have. And I look forward to seeing you in a video soon.